Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome back to the Dream Machine. Now, as you can see, I'm, uh, I have organized my uh, video a little bit different, so let me know which you prefer, the previous one or this one. Anyway, let's get to this odd game. Examine like fuse box. Oh no. I'm not sure if I want to turn the lights on. Lights. I sort of want to keep the ventilation on, I think. Huh. Oh, I can see the wires go. Okay, so I need... That. How am I going to do this? Let's see. I want these to lead to the lights. Right? But how would I do that? Oh, there we go. There we go, I was close. Oh no. <laughs> That's really loud. Okay, just adjust my volume a little bit. I just played Fallout for which I use louder volume. A clear liquid is seeping from the ruptured eyes. Oh, lovely. A bone. Oh, I want that? Okay. The needle on the badge has pierced his skin. Judging from the badge, this was Victor 11. Well, found him. This is where he ended up. I'm guessing this is another crew member, but it's hard to tell from the deco decomposition. It must smell so bad, how can you talk? His clothes have partially been ripped off. Festering stretches cover the exposed parts of his body. What the what? The top of his skull is missing. I'm guessing the tentacle entered there. Tentacle? Oh, right, there it is. It seems to be sucking fluids out of the fresh corpse. Oh, no, I don't need that. I don't need that. Get out. Get out. Get out. The shoot door has rusted shut. I can't open it. Can I? Can't I? Don't have anything? Yeah, sorry about last time. You couldn't see my uh, inventory, apparently. Can I use the gasoline on that? Some of the rust came loose. There we go. What about this tentacle, though? I know, but can I... I doubt it would even notice if I hit it. Examine rust. It's some of the rust that's crept the coal chute. Okay. So what do I do with the rust? The arms are covered in bite marks. Did he try to chew them off? Oh my. Are people going mad in here? Or did they do that to them? Okay. Never mind. I'm not sure where this is going. Anyway, I got an, a bone. Red poison. This is a good idea, but the box is completely empty. Maybe there's a way to make some more? How would I make some more? I better use a shaker if I want to make some ingredients. Okay, can you scrap some from the bottom? That's a good idea, but the box is completely... Okay, never mind. Hot sauce. Gasoline. It will taste horribly, but why not? Let's try and mix some stuff with hot sauce and stuff. Hot sauce. Some rust. Gasoline, hot sauce, and rust. I guess gin is pretty flammable. The bone is too big, it won't fit in the shaker. Is there a way for me to crush that? Hmm. See, what am I supposed to do here? Gasoline, hot sauce, rust, gin, and lemon juice. Hmm. Human tomato juice, I guess. The shaker seems to be full, but the mix didn't turn into anything. I better throw this out and start over. Okay, so 
I am supposed to make some stuff together. The shaker's empty. Oh, okay, so that's why I could actually... Okay. Oh, am I supposed to throw something down the coal chute? His face is almost recognizable, but judging by the badge on this body... It's the body of the bartender. Oh, no! This is where he ended up, the poor bastard. Oh, no. He's... Help me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. You brought this onto yourself? What? How? No. You want me to help you? Yes. How can I help you? Help. Help me. I I'm gonna have to kill you. Yes. No. I don't know how I can help you. Please. I'll come back for you. Okay, leave. Okay. I I'm, I'm guessing I have to poison him or something because I want him to die. I can't... Like, can I use the bone? Looks like a femur. Yes, great, but... Club him to death, I can't bear- It's better than nothing, dude, seriously. Box is completely empty. Maybe there's a way to make some more. How would I make more rat poison? That's a good idea, but I don't think it will be enough. Can I stab him? He has his own badge. Rust? It won't have any effect on its own. So rust is important. I don't know what to do, man. How am I gonna help him? Man, I really wanna help him quick now, but I wouldn't know what. Can I rattle something on it or... S oh, maybe I could crush it. Yes, there, nothing happened. What do you mean nothing happened? I just crushed the bones. Does that mean I can do something with it now? Okay. So now it contains... Rust, gasoline and calcium. Calcium. Oh, from the bones, right. Okay, so what does that mean? <coughs> if I only had, only had a lighter, I could just set the thing on fire. Rust, gasoline, camel, swim, and lemon juice. Okay, so that didn't work. I'm supposed to do something with that. And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do something with rust. I'm just gonna have to try every single ingredient in here. Lemon. How do you use lemon? Calcium, rust, and lemon juice. Sure, let's add some gin. Alright, I look. I had to look at what to do because I honestly... I didn't know what combination to use because I, I was pretty convinced I had to do something with the shaker and I was right about that. So I have to add rust, the bone shards, a lemon, and some gasoline. It will taste horribly, but why not? I know. No, stop it. Tendons are protruding from his shirt sleeve. Oh god, that's bad. Rust, calcium, lemon juice, and gasoline. That's what you wanted, right? I put some gin. The contents of the shaker turned into a makeshift rat poison. Oh, really? Okay. So those were the ingredients I got. I didn't figure that out by myself. I've been fiddling around with all these ingredients, but I had no idea. Okay, so now I think I'm just gonna have to kill you. Swallow this, brother. That's all I can do for you. For now. It would be better to just bash his skull in, but I guess this would damage the tentacle as well. Something seems to be happening with the tentacle. Good boy. Is it lagging? Victor? Are you there? Alicia? Thank god you're safe. Here, let me help you up. Yes, please. How? I'll get a rope. This is a very odd dream for you, Alicia, really? 
God, that was weird. That was really, really weird. I'm so sorry, Victor. I could see and hear you, but it's like I wasn't in control of my own body. I know, honey. The machine told me, but it's all right now. I could feel you in my dream. I wanted to warn you, but the machine wouldn't let me. I was so afraid it would hurt you. I know, honey. I managed to spoil its food supply. I don't think it will be coming back here anytime soon. No, but the machine is still forcing me asleep even though I'm fighting to wake up. I thought you'd wake up once I sever severed it from your dream. You need to cut the machine out of every dream first. Only then will it shut down completely and let me go. What if I fail? You always said I had a pacifying influence on you. So having me as a drooling vegetable must be right up your ally. Ellie. Don't say that, Alicia. That isn't funny. I know. Can't you see yourself changing my diapers? Or spoon feeding purees into my blank, unresponsive face? I will if I have to. How will I get out of this dream? Leave the same place you came in. The exit is tricky to spot if you don't know where to look. So this is your recurring dream, huh? Do you always dream about being alone on a boat with multiple copies of me? I don't know if I'm flattered or creeped out. It usually isn't like this, but at least I didn't dream about somebody else. You always had a good taste when it came to men. Let's just say, let's just stay like this for a little bit longer. I'll miss you when you leave. I'll see you on the other side. Once the machine has been shut down, I'm sorry to leave you, but I have to. I know. But I'll see you soon, alright? Yeah. I'll see you on the other side, Olaf. Sorry I said that in such a monotonous voice. Oh, I'm sorry. I really hate having to leave. But I'll get back. Uh, as long as she, she should be okay now. She should be safe. Oh my. Looks like I have time to enter the next stream. But I don't know if it's going to enter a new chapter. Because if, if, if it starts a new chapter, I'm starting a new episode. See, I started out on the sun deck. Oh. Well, goodbye then. Why do I have the feeling that this was one of the more pleasant dreams? Now that Alicia told me what to look for, the exit is actually easy to spot. Strange I couldn't see it before. Well, there we go. That took longer than I thought. Yes! But Alicia should be safe for now. She said I have to zephyr all tentacles before the machine will shut down. So now I have to enter my neighbor's dreams somehow. But how can I access their apartments without them calling the police? And how do I make them fall asleep? Aren't they asleep? Because I assume the mas machine already did that for me. Remove sender device. Okay, chapter 4. Get out as early as you can. Okay, it's starting a new chapter, so this is the final episode of chapter 3. So I'm gonna stop the episode here, sorry if it's a little bit shorter than usual. I got about 20 minutes. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll leave a link down in the description to this game if you're interested. Um, I believe the first two or three episodes are in one package, so you can play that if you want to. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!